Hey guys, today I'm gonna uh, go through the uh, bug list and uh, tell my opinion on these bugs. Uh, so, uh, if you wanna know where to find it, uh, starcraft2coop.com uh, slash resources slash bugs. And <coughs> there we go. So, first game core. <coughs> So after warp gap research completion, gateways will automatically transform into warp gates even if a unit is in production. That unit's supply and cost uh, is not uh, refunded. Reverting to gateway will complete production. Uh, okay, yeah, that's that's pretty annoying. Uh, it happened to me a lot of times, especially with uh, Phoenix, I think. So yeah, because Artanis says it's automatic, Artanis don't have uh, uh, gateways. But the Phoenix, uh, Alarak, <coughs> which is that also has in Phoenix, Alarak, uh, Karax, yeah, that's a, that's a thing with with these uh, commanders. So uh, it's pretty annoying, and we'll be glad for them to fix that. I think this is the thing in in versus two, in versus two. I just, I, I think I just saw a, a game uh, yesterday or on Monday with Max Pax who also had a, a, a unit in production and then Warp Gate kick, kicked in and of course unit was lost. I don't think that in Versus they got refund, but uh, it's also a thing. Uh, <coughs> aura effects apply with units even if they are inside uh, transports. I actually don't quite fully understand this. Oh, um, probably some barrier stuff or what? Okay. Well, uh, beam weapons are unaffected by attack speed buffs. Okay, that's uh, that's also a thing. I think Diamondbacks, uh, Diamondbacks are still unaffected by uh, mech attack speed. Then uh, what? Uh, which other commanders have? Uh, Warazun, no, Warazun, I think has, has not such mastery, but yeah, uh, can't remember which now, but uh, which commanders, but yeah, beam attackers are not uh, affected by that, that's, uh, that, you know, di Diamondbacks and uh, probably some other stuff that has beam attacks. Uh, units with the frenzy passive can get stunned with tanks headbutt. Hunterling sleep attack and stun abilities from void shards and sliv slivers. Okay, S yeah, the brutalisks, uh, maybe Apex Predator Zagara, I think too. And also, uh, okay, that will be uh, under mutators later. Uh, players can destroy their initial structures and rebuild them elsewhere on certain missions and stop mutator units such as propagators from being given a move command to their base. So um, yeah, that's a, that's a thing with uh, propagators, boom bots, uh, I think kill bots too. Uh, and that's how actually speedrunners are able to solo uh, mutations with uh, boom bots because otherwise they wouldn't be able to. You have to have an ally to give the code to, but then they just re uh, destroy the, because uh, when uh, map starts, uh, uh, Aemon gets a brief view of uh, the your uh, starting location, and that's where all the, the stuff are drawn, all the boom bots come and propagators sell that stuff, and if you destroy it, then they will actually sit, just uh, remain where they spawned and don't go walk anywhere until they have a vision of uh, uh, some of your structures again. So yeah, that's how they um, do it. Uh, if, that's, if that bug is removed, then the uh, guys like Ankalagon and <laughs> Lila and <laughs> won't be able to sp won't be able to solo the mutations with boom bots anymore. Okay. Uh, players can play at 180 mastery points by using an arcade exploit. Yeah, that's some um, that's guy. I don't think I even know that that shit. I, I don't wanna know actually, so I don't I don't cheat. So yeah, uh, but I sometimes I use that overlay so I can see. Sometimes I run into a cheater uh, using 180 mastery points. <coughs> okay. 
Uh, players can play at 180 mastery points by using an R. Uh, uh, yeah, that, that is a uh, sorry. Prestiging, prestiging a commander while the game uh, countdown is active adds experience to uh, uh, the level one commander while the player plays at mastery level. Most people already know that. Yeah, that's uh, to use. So you don't, you never have to play at level one. You um, you play uh, you prestige trick, then you play with full mastery, and then next uh, you get to level two. So you start kind of from level two. That's that's okay. I don't want this to. I mean, I I don't care actually because I have everything mastered. That I won't be uh, leveling on other servers, so uh, <laughs> it's not uh, my concern anymore. But uh, I mean, it's okay thing. So it will be good if if it, it remains. Um, uh, score screen displays uh, jumping units. Uh, Raptor strength zerglings as units made. Yeah, yeah, that's a that's a thing. So I kind of on score screen if you uh, rap raptor jumps, everything it jumps. It's kind of new unit, so it's not correct uh, score screen uh, display. Okay, aim on. Uh, let's see, aim on attack waves. Take units. From the map, if they are killed too quickly, um, okay. Um, attack quick. So what's that actually? Hmm. Take units from the map. I don't know actually what it means. Do they take? Uh, didn't notice. Or is that like score screen bug also? I don't. I don't think so. They are quilled too quickly, they, or they take units from the map, or they, they kind of teleport other units from the are on the map, maybe. Okay, <coughs> didn't notice that. Tack waves with only air units can take unexpected paths to, the, to players' bases. I mean, this should stay. Because I mean, it's uh, not versus mode. It's everything predictable uh, in, uh, especially on some maps like Rift to Core Hall, where, where it mostly happens. Like it's it's only air units. I mean, unexpected. Expect the unexpected. I mean, you have enough of predictable stuff. A little bit of unpredictable. It's okay. You know, no, it's not that you are going against players. So it would be, it would be actually even some more randomization would be good in, in StarCraft to co up in my opinion. So yeah, I think this should remain. Okay. Uh, this should stay. Uh, so uh, brutal plus mutations can be stacked with the uh, weekly mutation. Retry, retry brutal plus on the weekly mutation tab. Yeah, yeah. It was previously, previously it was bug that bug that uh, uh, that you could uh, when the brutal plus was first first introduced that you could kind of uh, go on weekly mutation. But if you have brutal plus selected, then you get some other mutators and that's and you get the bounty. So this was removed, but now apparently I didn't even. Uh, uh, check that this out, but apparently this, uh, if you go retry brutal, then uh, it's stuck with weekly mutation. Okay. <coughs> Cast, casting a fear debuff on an entire attack wave will cause units in the wave to lose their attack commands after fear. Wave. Yeah, that's that's most of it. Manx like with the uh, with the uh, toxic uh, toxic attack. <laughs> With the toxic earth splitter attack that uh, that you get feared and then it just uh, remains standing uh, where they were and don't don't move, uh, don't resume their attack after fear wears off. That's that's a thing. Also, <laughs> disruptors purification novas are not cancelled if uh, lifted by phoenixes. <coughs> Uh, okay, I don't know if sh they should be cancelled. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know how it is in, in versus mode. Um, air units can be stuck in a state uh, between air. I mean, uh, this disruptor. I I don't use much. <laughs> I don't use disruptors. I use them once just for uh, maybe I make a video of them. But uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, Maybe even tomorrow, I think it's a good idea for a video. 
but uh, I didn't use much of these disruptors. But uh, I think this is, uh, yeah, this Amos disruptor actually. So yeah, River Disruptor composition, not Phoenix is disruptor. Okay, air units can be stuck uh, in a state between air and ground if they are ensnared, like from stuck of the infested diamond vex, and then get teleported via, via triggers. Uh, like on Oblivion Express. Okay, this triggers actually is uh, th this is actually, but I hate that that triggers air units get uh, spawned and then they uh, teleported like back there. That, that, that that's uh, I, I don't like this. I I would like that to be removed. Uh, Ghosts and Wraiths can use cloak at the start of the mission, but these upgrades are provided uh, at fifteen. Okay, yeah, Banshees do not cloak, but Ghosts and yeah, Ghosts can cloak immediately. That's especially when I play the Haka, like uh, like on the Void launch, and I uh, want to eat that Ghost to explode, and Ghost cloaks, and I'm like, okay, dude, I mean, it's the start of the game. Hybrid Destroyers, Graviton Prison is not marked as a stasis ability. Okay, just a second, guys. No cleaning duties. Okay. Um, um, uh, where, where am I? Where am I? Where am I? Uh, ah, yes, here, here am I. Oh, here I am. Okay, hybrid dominators, uh, plasma blast hits target uh, units in Nova's tactical air lift. Uh, okay, um, hmm. yeah, that's that's definitely that if it is, then it definitely should be fixed. Hybrid Dominator's Plasma Blast hits target units in Tycho's Medivac or Airlift. Okay. I don't remember if I noticed that. Uh, hybrid uh, Plasma Blast can damage Nova through stance, dance invulnerability. Yeah, okay. Definitely should be fixed all these things. Raven Seeker missiles with will hit interceptors if it was the target. Even if the interceptor is already inside the carrier before it hits, okay, didn't notice this. It's hard to notice such things, but um, okay, yeah, should be fixed. Yeah, structures in stasis by hybrid nemesis can still be damaged and killed by hybrid destroyers. So that plasma blast obviously has issues. <laughs> uh, volatile infested can walk through Alarak's force fields. Okay, <laughs> that also should be fixed. Um, I mean, I don't remember if I ever used all for force fields, to be honest. Okay, okay, now we get to commanders. Avatar, base. Units on the Essence Hoarder P1 Prestige that have collected between 25 and 100 biomass will cap at 105 biomass. If they if they picked up a biomass drop, that would have max max their biomass. Uh, okay... Mm, that would have maxed, so that means that uh, if mm, ah if if they are between twenty five and hundred and they collect so in they collect uh, uh, the one that will uh, get them over hundred and twenty five or under yeah okay so yeah the, I, I I thought it was a random bug that uh, that roughly thirty to forty percent uh, units are affected. But then it is some science behind it, but that's, that definitely should be fixed because uh, it's annoying to have 105 and it uh, should be 125. Okay, Swarmhost spawn locust cooldown is based on attack speed. I showed it in one of the uh, 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 one of the video, and that means that uh, uh, this that that also causes this other thing. Swarmhost spawn locust cooldown buffed on a uh, buffed by sounding devouring one. The hacker reduces the cool cooldown of the ability, but will not be auto casted because there are actually two separate cooldowns, and then uh, it uh, you ca you can manually cast, but it will n not be auto casted until the other cooldown is done, which is kind of uh, based on attack speed, and then it's not uh, redu reduced. Okay. <coughs> Symbiotes can attack uh, when units in, in a transport. Okay, that's actually a pretty good good thing. Uh, I mean, good for us. Uh, uh, you, you hide your uh, if your ally is Kerrigan, for example. Okay, you an avatar can ha get uh, Nidus, but avatar Nidus is a shit. So if you have a Kerrigan allies, you use Kerrigan Nidus, or then you can also build Omega, and then uh, Symbiotes uh, can. Uh, 
uh, still uh, st- uh, linger kind of hover at, uh, uh, above the Omega network and uh, attack uh, units and enemy units around it. So that's <laughs> that's a cool stuff. But yeah, but it is a it is a bug though. Uh, symbiotes get statement sucks overload shield uh, despite being in one. Yeah, that's that's actually doesn't that actually this is just a visual thing. It doesn't affect the game because uh, it does nothing. Uh, tox- toxic nest uh, can be placed on top of swan swan uh, flaming batteries, making them unable to unburrow and attack. Okay. <coughs> that that's definitely not good. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, now mutators. Mutators with up to black death damage to self is counted for life leash bonus provided by Biomass. I would cry if they fix that, if it's even a bug. I mean, probably is, but I would cry if they remove this because it's so awesome. I mean, every time when you, you have a... Uh, 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 Black Death Avatar is the best commander just because of this you can fully biomass uh, Swarm House sometimes uh, even you can go Muta or Ravagers and uh, you can uh, when they're fully biomassed then uh, uh, if you're using Essence for it and even heals even, even heals uh, the unit but uh, <coughs> I mean I like Tunneling Horror because then I go Swarm Host and it's just awesome so uh, yeah I really like this. <laughs> I would not like this to be removed. Okay, Brutalist can be feared despite having the Frenzy Pass here. Yeah, yeah, that, that's a thing. That's a thing. That shouldn't be the case. Uh, double-edged uh, damage uh, to self is counted for life. Leech bonus provided by Mess. Okay, that's also that's also a thing I would like to be removed. Same time, same thing as the as the uh, Black Death. It's also fully biomass units. Uh, are immune to double-edged. Uh, Ravagers are pulled by fatal attraction while burrowed. Okay, th- that could be fixed, you know, <laughs> that's, uh, that's another thing. Okay, now we have, uh, oh, this will be a long video. Now we have uh, Alarak. So, uh, base, uh, oh, this is a lot of stuff. Okay, Alarak uh, can kill uh, units inside bunkers while with auto attacks with Empower Me active. Hmm? You know that, I mean, I didn't, I didn't play Alarak that much. Uh, Alarak health siphon from killing enemy units gets removed by point defense drones. Uh, yeah, I think this is a bug. To, this shouldn't be okay. This shouldn't be a thing. Uh, it should be definitely removed. It's uh, uh, artificer of souls can sometimes lose stacks if supplicants are sacrificed in a single single game loop. Okay, uh, yeah, that's uh, that's also a bug that should be removed. Enemy units uh, knocked into the air by destruction wave can heal Alarak uh, through soul absorption even if they are not killed. Hmm. Okay, that's actually a good buff for, buff for Alarak, but uh, yeah, it's unfair. It should be removed. Havocs can provide buffs from inside war prisms. Yeah, it's also a bug. I mean, they shouldn't be able to do that. Havocs can uh, do not benefit from Warazun's Wheel of Shadows passive. Okay, they should benefit. So, uh, yeah, to recharge your shields. Okay, if you use Dance with Rod Walkers, they lose the ability to fire while moving if they uh, move right after dancing. I mean, okay, that Dance command is uh, kind of meme stuff. Uh, Mothership Thermal Lens uh, can auto-target Thrasher projectiles and cloak units if there is at least one visible uh, target in its auto-cast range. Okay, Thrasher pro- I didn't even know that uh, could uh, target Thrasher projectiles and cloaked uh, units. Uh, well, that's kind of good for Alarak, but uh, yeah, it's definitely a bug Thrasher projectiles shouldn't ask actually be targeted by anything I shouldn't be able to be targeted by anything Sla- Slayer phasing armor neither cancels hybrid destroyer uh, graviton prison nor prevents any damage oh yeah I think this is malfunctioning yeah <coughs> or ah prevents uh, any damage from from it okay 
structure over charge. It's too hot here. Uh, structure over charge <coughs> still fires from structures in uh, stasis by a hybrid nemesis. Okay, structure over charge still fires from structures stasis by a hybrid nemesis. Mm -hmm. Okay, I mean, it's kind of cool because the structure is invulnerable and the structure which is still far as stem and stem is with stem and satellites. But uh, yeah, I, th I think it's a bug too. And good bug, but well, probably a bug. <coughs> Alarax mutators. Alarax force fields do not block Zagara's bending barrage. <gasps> mm, okay. It's probably with Heroes of the Storm Mutators. Yeah. Aim on Heroes, uh, Rain or Tychus and the Haku can work through Alarax Force Fields. Okay, that's definitely a bug that should be removed. Structure Overcharge <coughs> can target units with polarity, even though it's cannot damage them. Yeah, that's uh, that's total, totally a waste. Like it shouldn't be because if they if it targets them, then it's just a waste of uh, of uh, of uh, of shots. So yeah, that that definitely is a bad bug that should be fixed. Okay. Artanis, okay, base. Archive commanded unbound fanatics do not spawn your orbital strikes that target on top of structures. That's not a bug, because it sh you should be uh, you should be uh, wary of this. Siege tanks have that attribute. Siege tanks have those attributes. We'll get to that. Uh, but uh, kind of structure attributes that uh, Kerrigan uh, cannot uh, ch charge through them, I mean, shift through them. Uh, the Haka can leap on top of them. Uh, the Kron cannot charge directly uh, directly through them. So, yeah, it's uh, th they had that, that attribute. And I think uh, it is good. Okay, maybe Siege Tanks should even be uh, removed of that attribute. If that's a bug, I don't know. But uh, you can't, uh, you can't uh, spawn a on top of structures or on unpatable terrain so yeah so that's that's in my opinion that's not a bug you you should be careful where, where you spawn them okay so uh, yeah that's that's definitely for me in my opinion not a bug that's uh, that's a good thing and viable thing okay colossi attacks uh, can kill units that have still not used guardian shell okay i didn't know that well that's a turn guard Definitely a bug that should be fixed. Hybrid behemoths and hybrid rivers consume DNA ability ignores guardian shell. It d does it? Hmm. I didn't know that yet. I didn't notice. Okay. <coughs> that should definitely also be fixed. The lava surge damage on the vermilion probably ignores guardian shell. Okay. D oh yeah, that should also be fixed. Mutators black death damage ignores guardian shell. Mm, yeah, okay, yeah, that too. So guardian shell suffers from the several things I didn't even know about. Uh, yeah, because I never do go artanis with black death because I know it's a pain. So I did probably did notice that. Ability is casted by power overwhelming, uh, ignore guardian shell in vulnerability and still damage the unit. Okay, that's also a thing. Uh, uh, guardian shell should definitely has issues, so it should be fixed. Okay, uh, uh, we double edged arc ship commandant. <coughs> P3 unbound uh, fanatics plasma waves kill themselves when they deal damage. Mm. Yeah, yeah, they, that's the, those plasma waves should actually not deal and not kill themselves. I mean, those plasma waves. Mm, so, yeah, they, this is really a bad bug. This is really a bad bug. This should be fixed. Okay. Uh, okay. So we have the Haka uh, base. Mm, Bradwood brother respawn timer is only based on the Haka's level. Yeah, I was talking about that. Yeah, I was playing some games, showing that uh, that you go out just with Zwei Haka and you know, leave the Haka home. That's especially good if you go swarm host because then you don't a move. You know you you have swarm hosts uh, and then you don't F two. You you you. Uh, 
uh, have the Hakka in one control group and host in another and you play like this. But if you if you uh, have to like if you going mutalisk or something, so uh, say, um, want to keep them near the Hakka, then uh, it's kind of better. I mean, you can ask your ally to build uh, a w kind of cage and put the Hakka inside, so the Hakka doesn't come along. Okay, so and so that's why Hakka is the Hakka is level one. Then it still needs like three to four drones, just three to four drones, uh, not eight, because otherwise, you know, when it's grown up, you need eight drones to revive. But this way, you can always uh, revive with low drone count. Okay, <coughs> 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 so it's not resp uh, respond timer. It's actually not timer. It's a uh, drone count because I mean, timer is uh, ninety. So. Uh, Oh yeah, but it affects the time drones affect the timer, so okay, yeah, yeah. Good. Uh the Hakka cannot leap into a group of siege tanks, I uh, already told uh, about that. So uh, maybe it should be removed, maybe I don't know. It's actually a bug. Mm, but it is annoying when you play the Hakka. <laughs> Devouring one. We want the Hakka devourers uh devourers can heal mission objectives level runner that that I actually suggested that to put it in it wasn't here and then they put this in. But it's actually good. I mean I I exploited it when last time when we were on Mal Warfare uh, they have some mutators uh, I can rem don't remember which mutators were ah power overwhelming and uh, what was the other one? I can't remember, but um, yeah, I was abusing that to actually heal Arana to buy me more time. So yeah, this was uh, this was uh, a, this is a thing that's actually good. But yeah, it's the, it is a bug. It shouldn't be a thing. But uh, I would like this bug to remain. You know. <coughs> uh, okay, so. Y Except this, yeah, all, 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 uh, all uh, can heal all the mission objectives that are units, even the prism, even the prism on the um, set of aim, and, uh, but the, it's not does much, doesn't do much because the prism is mostly shields. Uh, pack leaders are not valid targets of statements. Hugs overload. Mm, what didn't I see? Pack leaders being, uh, uh, probably not, probably not yet. So sh they should be well because they are units. So that's kind of that's kind of downside probably of them being uh, my bosses. But the up the upsides are a lot m bigger because um, yeah yeah. Pack leaders do not get Seratus Void Seeker Super Cloak. Okay, that's that's probably another downside. Point defense drones block impalers, impeller attacks. Uh, okay, that shouldn't be a thing because impeller and underground attack are definitely not uh, missiles, so uh, that should uh, definitely shouldn't be a thing. Point defense drones block murderous attacks and her locus from spawning. Okay, locus shouldn't be blocked for spawning. And yeah, those are uh, those missiles. Hmm, I think this should be removed too. Primal contender, the Haka can be prevented from despawning by loading him into another swarm before using pay. Yeah, I also showed this in, but at least one video, uh, bamboozling uh, uh, prestige. So like you load him in the, into the Kerrigan's Omega, and then you pop out the worm, and then unload the Haka, and then you and also you can do it also with the with the the, the pack leaders, except the Glevy because Glevy is stationary, so you cannot load it into a uh, Omega network. See. Um, I think it's also a thing uh, with Nova, like, I, I'm not sure, I didn't actually try, but I think if you airlift it, it's also a thing, you can also uh, get, pop out a uh, pack leader and then drop the Haka, and well, I had to do it, has to do it, of course. Manually commanding explosive creepers to attack LA or your own units will deal zero damage. Uh, yeah, because that, that's, it's kind of... Uh, Counts as ability, probably. I don't know, but yeah, I think this should be fixed. The range buff that unit uh, units get when devouring one uh, devours an air unit is 15 seconds, and it's unaffected by masteries or devouring. Okay, I didn't even notice that, but uh, yeah, the range buff should be <coughs> that should be fixed definitely. 
uh, thorns from Tyrannosaurus and the crown can be blocked by point defense drones. Okay, they, I think this is not a bug. This is the thorns, and thorns are missiles, and that's uh, that's fair. That's fair. So point defense drones uh, should be able to. This is, in my opinion, this is not a bug. Okay. <coughs> When a Dehaka brother gains the deadly reach upgrade with broad brother, the other brothers get the upgrade too, regardless of level. Okay, um, ah, okay, so they both get, can attack air. <laughs> nice, okay, but uh, definitely a bug. When Sai Haka spawns, he gets auto rallied to different locations. Okay. Uh, but uh, well, there is another thing uh, that it's not uh, stated here. I forgot to I forgot to send them that. That's uh, then Sai Haka often blinks, like glows, like uh, he has uh, upgrade ready when upgrade is actually uh, not ready. I mean, well. No, uh, the next level so yeah they see this is also this is often annoying so then you click on you, you look which uh, thing you get and you can actually get nothing because it, it's not uh, upgrade uh, ready so that's uh, that's kind of bad that should definitely be fixed the crone and tyrannosaurs are instantly killed when double-edged is active uh yeah that that's that that's bad because i mean there is no way the the crown uh that's a bug because eight thousand if you use a primal container eight thousand hp the crown and you just uh attacks anything and instantly uh, it is uh, killed because it's some math glitch that uh kind of multiplies the damage uh, dealt back and double h is active and uh, that's uh that's uh, Tyrannosaurus, not all Tyrannosaurus, I think, but the ones that have the, that buff, that also have the Torrance uh, mutation, the gene mutation that allows them to shoot back. Okay, Impalers are pulled by Fatal Attraction while borrowed. Um, yeah, they shouldn't be. Okay. Okay, so... Uh, so, so, so... Uh, then we have um, Phoenix. Okay, Phoenix is my least known command that I least played it. So, Adept Shadows can trigger Stasis Wards. Okay, I don't know. That's a thing in the versus mode. Uh, but uh, maybe it's. I don't know. I'm not sure if that's a bug. Maybe that's a thing to, to actually uh, trigger Stasis. But I think this could be an exploit that can remain. I don't know. Adepts and Talis lose their ability to cast shade when they are stasis by stasis ward. Wards while the shade is active. What? Wait. Adepts and Talis lose their ability to cast shade when they are stasis by stasis. Wards while. The ah, they lose it permanently. Okay, it, it would only make sense if it because, of course, if they are stasis, I mean, they can do anything, so... They lose their ability... Okay, uh, that's a definitely a bad bug if it is. A Kundalar Phoenix Cybrus Arbiter does not have the same cooldown as the other two, so okay, this is a good bug. This is a good bug, which uh, <coughs> is definitely a bug, I mean, you can use... Uh, Arbiter all the time and that gives you a lot of mobility on the map So yeah, that's That's pretty good thing, but it's definitely a bug <laughs> Cloak disruptors do not benefit from one of the well shadows passive Okay, I don't care about the <laughs> disruptors, but uh, yeah, definitely a bug and should be removed Disruptors uh, weapons do not benefit from warriors and strike from the shadows passive. Okay, definitely also a bug Because there should be uh, yeah, uh, more attack, attack uh, damage. Uh, does it, uh, does it uh, affect core ability? Core? No, I think there's energy regeneration. But yeah, uh, attacks, attack, uh, attack damage is also yeah. 
because they're but I don't know if they actually should benefit uh, from that because that's uh, disruptors attacks are actually uh, an ability so I don't know and I'm not sure if that's a bug I think it's even not like, uh, yeah but uh, they have their own auto attack so maybe auto attack e actually does benefit I don't know but the, the, the purifier the the balls actually shouldn't shouldn't be uh, affected by that that's if they are not affected that's not a bug okay phoenix can lose wait purifier conclave is active so yeah uh you if your if all phoenix is uh buildings are destroyed and purifier conclave is still uh, alive you lose the game okay i think i think it's also a bug uh, Kaldalis and Warbringer DPS is limited by attack animation and internal we weapon delays. Okay, yeah, that's that's very probably uh, you should not use uh, uh, the attack speed uh, mastery AI champion AI attack speed with uh, with. Uh, Phoenix P2 because then it can attack too fast and then uh, it's a limit to that attack speed, yeah. But <coughs> if that bug is removed then Kadalis will be even more powerful. So yeah, that's uh, definitely should be removed. Kaldalis upon death drops 10 minerals, 5 gas when partnered with Helen and Horner despite him not having a gas cost. Okay, the, the, that's a tiny good little bug but it's good bug. Uh, Still a bug though, okay. Uh, Warbringer ignores armor. Mm, so Warbringer attacks, ignore armor. Okay, if, it's, if it is a bug, that's a good bug. I mean, if it does, then it's a bug. But yeah. Okay, mutators. AI uh, champions do not count as heroic units for transmutation. I mean, it's also a good bug because something something kills your uh, uh, your champion, then it uh, doesn't transmute into a top tier unit, the hybrid beh behemoth or the dominator. So it's also a good bug, but it is a bug because they are heroic units. Because everything everything that uh, kills everything that kills uh, your um <coughs> uh, heroic unit will go into top tier we'll transmute it to top tier hybrid okay um with microtransactions kaldalis cost gas to command despite having not having a gas cost okay that, 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 actually this microtransactions are kind of weird uh, like uh top tier units uh, the main uh, for example main unit costs less than the other like for example with uh, rain or hyperion micro cost only uh, one mineral per command while uh, banshees dusk wings uh, cost uh, cost uh, three minerals and three gas per per uh, per banshee so in moving whole whole composition like all five dusk wings that's like 15 15 uh, minerals 15 gas per command but then the Hyperion should, I mean, okay, you can say like that uh, Dusk Wings are Banshees. But then again, uh, Hyperion is a battle because although it's kind of weird, big battle cruiser with a specific design, but it should uh, cost uh, like any other battle cruiser. So uh, yeah, it's, it's kind of weird things with these micro Same things like with uh, Apocalypse and Alexander and uh, <coughs> yeah, so those microtransactions so um, top bars are weirdly weirdly uh, affected and some units obviously also uh, purifier conclave does not get targeted by missiles from my missile command okay uh, that's uh, well good and bad bug because uh, the more spread are uh, missiles the less uh, if they are all targeted in one structure and beginning you just have nexus and purifier conclave so more missiles actually hit your nexus uh, uh, it is a bug then okay yeah. uh, Han Horner base 
soul galleons uh, in the construction are treated like units and can therefore be lifted by Amon's phoenixes, healed by science vessels and get buffs from devouring 1p1 the HK. Uh, okay. Uh, soul galleons in construction are treated like units. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's... Uh, <laughs> yeah, they shouldn't be uh, and, uh, until they are completed. Calling the fleet does not always travel in the selected direction. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I didn't notice that, but okay, if, if it doesn't, then then it's definitely a bug that should be removed. Flying Reapers do not take damage from parasitic bomb casted at them. Well, I think that's a thing too, but that's a, that's a good bug, but definitely a bug that uh, should be fixed. Although those uh, parasitic bombs, those those vipers are annoying enough even without that. But I mean that's how it should be. Not not everything. Uh, I mean should be easy. Losing ten units makes corner units lose some HP. I don't know if this is a bug because you have that. Uh, uh, significant others thing, so it might be uh, actually. Uh, I mean, if uh, if uh, they lose some HP, I mean, if it is a thing that have like uh, that the maximum HP is the same, it remains the same, and uh, they lose the health, then it's definitely a bug. But is there? Uh, maximum uh, HP drops, then it's not, in my opinion. So, uh, for example, if uh, you have like, um, I don't know, mm, like 980 HP, uh, I, I forgot how many HP actually have, uh, battle cruisers have, but uh, talking like, uh, for example, just like 980 and then Horner unit dies and uh, it uh, shrinks to 975 maximum HP, that's that's kind of okay and uh, they don't lose actual health, so I mean actual health, uh, that the actual HP drop below maximum, that, that, that's what I meant, so yeah. Uh, Magmines multiplies the damage for every unit near center of its target when hitting clumped up units, okay, that's obviously a good bug, but it's a bug. Reapers can get stuck in their flying mode, I think I, I, think I noticed it once, or I don't know, Reapers can get stuck, I know it's a, it's a why are they getting stuck? But if it's a bug, definitely a bug that has to be fixed. STVs cannot stop construction. Yeah, I think I noticed that with Hunt Horner. A sovereign battle cruisers, yeah, I mean, they're definitely a very ugly bug. Sovereign battle cruisers deal less damage than instead on the weapon tilt due to the random delays in the weapon. Okay, then I think that's also with Rainer's battle cruiser, so that, that definitely should be fixed. Uh, stronger that chance mastery does not work. Yeah, that that's a thing. That's a thing that uh, should definitely be fixed. Mastery, uh, prestige thing works. That uh, that the double that effects, but uh, the mastery does not work. So all you always remember, always until this is fixed, always to use strike fighters area of effect. <coughs> Uh, mutators missile command can target the tech lab even though it has no HP bar. Okay, and it is so it's definitely a bug. Starport does not respond if captured by M on through imminent domain. Ah, but if the Starport gets uh, captured, then you should be able to build another because that one is then Amon's. So. Uh, the Starport does not respond, it's destroyed by a propagator. Starport should actually be, uh, you should be able to build another Starport if you lose one. So, uh, yeah, so that, that that's a bug. That's a bug there. 
it would be it would be really cool then uh, if your ally swan and if he like gives you a tech reactor but then again it doesn't work for nova too so uh, doesn't work for nova cooldowns are not reduced so uh, it wouldn't do anything actually <laughs> Okay, Void of Mines are pulled by uh, Fatal Attraction while Burrowed. Uh, yeah, that shouldn't be anything, it's Burrowed should be, should remain in place. Void of Mines lock uh, and fire at units in Polarity. Yeah, that's if that's a thing we notice and use the uh, actually against Polarity, but if that's a thing that's actually an ugly bug that should be removed. Same as the <sighs> structural, structural overcharge, sorry. Karak's base. Cross wave, corona wave increases the production of all nexus under the construction, including allies. Yeah, that's also a good bug. Graviton warp uh, catapult, uh, but it is a bug, shouldn't be doing uh, unfinished uh, structures. Graviton warp catapult provides 33% attack speed increase instead of the state at 25. Okay, so that's also a good bug for carriers. That's actually, yeah, my carrier is uh, stronger than Phoenix's, I think. I think it's Phoenix's. Another case, uh, because that Graviton Calip Catapult was not available. I mean, that's a uh, uh, buff. I remember when that was, it was a mutation, uh, aggressive recruitment, and the Phoenix's carriers uh, only worked there, because they only had, Phoenix only had Graviton Catapult. So they actually fast log propagators, but Phoenix's carriers can actually can actually fight fight them. I mean, like if you have hundred or more uh, interceptors, like comes the wave of five cloaked uh, speedy props, and they propagate like maybe fifteen to twenty of your uh, uh, interceptors before they are cleaned up. But you still have most of them, and they rebuild until the next. Wave. And that, that was a. Uh, the best strategy for um, beating that mutation in mal warfare, but then again, uh, I think the still the Phoenix's carriers will still be better because they are cheaper and they can be built faster. And I mean, uh, until you can have enough Karaxes, uh, uh carriers, it's kind of late game already. Okay, uh, all of Karax's top bar costs um, and. All of Karax top bar cost 10 minerals uh, fire gas per cast with microtransactions. Does it? Purifier beam, I think, does not. Hmm. I'm not sure about that. Maybe it does. I can't remember correctly, but. Uh, hmm. Chokers make sentinels unable to die while reconstitution is available. Okay, it's also a good bug. Okay, temporal field makes sentinels unable to die while reconstitution is available. Ah, temporal field. So th if they are under temporal field. They cannot die. Hmm. Nice. So, uh, so <laughs> I don't know why this is under mutator style. Like chokers are not mutator. That's a dead of night normal unit. <coughs> okay. Kerrigan uh, base ally ally units cannot enter Omega Worm. If the ally leaves the game, okay, that, that that's an annoying bug. Yeah, Should we fix this Void Queen. Kerrigan's kinetic blast get blocked by point defense drones. Yeah, it's instant, so I don't think it should be a thing. I think it should be removed. Omega worms can be healed by Renor's medics. Yeah, that's a kind of funky thing. That's I mean that that's it's definitely definitely not units uh, structures. So. Uh, so they shouldn't be able to be healed by <laughs> Raynor's medics. Immobilization wave deals 199 damage, so I was expecting. Yeah, the, 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 it, it seems like a tiny, but it's actually kind of big, because if unit has 200 HP, then instead of dying, it's still alive with uh, 1 HP, so like overseers and overlords, for example. So yeah, that's that, that thing should be fixed. Uh, with 30 weeks, you know, augment immobilization wave master. Yeah, 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 that's uh, that's... That's that thing. Okay. 
mutated chokers make Taurus literally is unable to die while the resurrection is available. Okay. Uh, folly of man, but folly of man, uh, lightning strikes can hit units under. Wait, chokers make Torask ultralisk. Chokers? Okay, okay, dudes, okay, this is big. Chokers can choke ultralisks. Okay, then that's a. No, uh, actually. If they grab an ultra risk, that's a bug because chokers should not be able to grab uh, massive ultra risk are massive units. They they are definitely massive units. So uh, uh, chokers can they can they choke uh, an ultra risk? I have to I have to check this because if this is a thing, then that's actually I mean they they shouldn't be able to. To even choke uh, 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 ultra least that, that that should not be possible. That should not be possible. Um, okay, I I I'll write to them. I'll write to them about the Hakas Guardians. They should be massive. They should be massive units. I mean, well, I don't know why they are not massive, and they shouldn't be choked. Like massive units cannot be choked. That's a the Haka can be choked once he becomes uh, massive at level 6. Uh, uh, yeah, the Ultra is shouldn't be choked. Shouldn't be. Folly of Man, uh, P2 Lightning Strikes can hit uh, uh, units under polarity. Uh, okay. Stunning them, but not that. Okay, that's a really good bug actually, because uh, yeah, you can stun polarized units. Okay, yeah. Kerrigan can uh, get pulled by fatal attraction while borrowed. Okay, I said uh, I'll have to think about that. Moving her hitbox, but not the model. Okay, I didn't see. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> this is totally a weird bug. Temporal field makes Taurus ultra is unable to die and resurrection is available. Okay, yeah. Uh, Aegis Guard, okay, Max. Aegis Guard drunk too will ignore all tags for its sl slow debuff. All tags. Hmm. Aegis Guard drunk to splash deal splash damage depending on the main target of attack and not the splash target themselves. I don't know if I understand this quite. Can I have to check actually that ability? Better, I don't understand this quite a, quite a good. Okay, attacks from bunkers don't draw aggro to bunkers uh, if they are outside of <coughs> enemy vision. Uh, attacks uh, from bunkers don't draw aggro to Bunk. Oh yeah, that's that's that that the cheese the city she likes to use on uh, on uh, on the uh, site of aim and it drops bunkers outside of the enemy's vision and then uh, then uh, unloads unit and uh, turn them into the anti air troopers and they have a pretty big range so they can then attack the sliver and. Uh, And uh, they attack the sliver, and the units are not aggroed towards uh, the bunkers. That's that cheese that you can use. Okay. Uh, Black Hammer in Overwatch mode hits ground units below targeted air units. I didn't, okay, I didn't li use much Black Hammers, but okay, it's actually a good bug, but it's definitely a bug. Bunkers are immune to disabling cloud and disruption web. Yeah, bunkers are actually immune to the the spotters also that phase shift ability. So, uh, so uh, I, I wrote to them. I think wrote, uh, but they didn't. Uh, they didn't. 
they didn't uh, add this over here okay well yeah this bunker is actually should not be immune to the I mean that's that's pretty good I mean good bug when you're facing spotters on dead of night but it shouldn't be Emperor's shadows do not auto cast labor labyrinth cloak when they c eh, yeah 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 that's why I lost a lot I think I lost a lot of Emperor's shadows because of that because of that la labyrinth cloak uh, malfunction yeah 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 that definitely should be one of the bugs one of the bugs I would uh, uh, get to pro priority I mean one of the bugs that definitely is bad one uh, laborers uh, can construct structures while carrying crystals on the vermilion problem okay yeah they shouldn't be able to do that principal proletariat with you supply cost increase does not count for unlocking the best of the best of the best emperor shiva okay i did uh, those achievements for the time i kind of don't know which that achievement is uh rank three Pyrokinetic emulation from Emperor's Shadow that deals 50 damage area of effect when it expires even though the unit when it expires even though the unit has not died. Ah, okay, yeah, that should be a thing, but um look like kind of good bug, but <sighs> should be Shock Division plus Intercessor deals different damage in different ranks, uh, different ranks to what is listed on the weapon stat troop, uh, on the weapon stat, I think they do less damage, it should be added, no? Yeah, okay, so lifted up uh, Shock Division, lifted, lifted tanks, tanks in the air, siege tanks in the air that can attack air units. Troopers inside bunkers can pick up dropped weapons. Okay, I don't know if that's a bug. Um, hmm. If you drop a bunker on top of the dropped weapons, yeah, they pick them up. I don't know if it's a, if it's a bug. It's actually a need to have, but uh, it's a bug. Okay, uh, mutators. Bunkers do not catch fire with scorched earth at a um, mel melee range. Uh, let's see, let me check something, sorry. Because I'm gonna get some notifications that I should, and then I have to check my messenger. Okay, no replies. Sorry, guys. Okay, um. Uh, yeah, mm, ML range uh, base infiltration specialist uh, P3 Nova gets decloaked when firing or sniping in if in Warzone's dark pale range. Aha! Uh -huh. So it's, uh, it gets completely decloaked and should be lose, uh, losing super cloak but still be kind of normally cloaked because uh, dark pale should cloak it. Okay, I didn't know that, but uh, yeah, it is a bug that should be fixed. Okay, Nova can switch modes and blink during respawn animation from her. Her beacon, okay. Hmm. I don't know, it's a bug. <laughs> Nova Soldier Fortune P1 production buff only applies if at least one charge is used. Yeah, yeah, that's a thing. So you have to, uh, as soon as you have. Uh, I mean, yeah, that, that's kind of annoying because you build a starport. If you're gonna go liberators first, now you can't have liberators right away because they, they cost 750 gas. So, uh, uh, and the prestige won't kick in until you h h have the first liberators out. So, yeah, that's it. And I don't think it's, I don't think it's even just, uh, wait. I think it might be also other prestige when you like uh, I think I, I noticed it's uh, in the Ravens maybe it's not a thing but I think it is then when actually then the cooldown for the second uh, charge starts when you deploy the first uh, uh, unit so when you yeah I think I think it's not just for soldier of fortune but I'm not sure I think I just noticed this on this mutation when I wanted to have two ravens like on two sides and I think definitely okay I will start for a little bit later so I'm not sure but it might it might be 
but that's that for soldier of fortune yeah that's definitely a thing that should be fixed okay nova's units are not resistant to stun effects as stated by her level one trade but stun duration is halved ah okay yeah yeah they should be resistant to stun effects yep okay that's a big thing that's actually a big thing okay sorry for eating orange i just got down in irresistible urge to eat some orange Okay, we have Raynor. Base. Hyperion has a higher attack speed while moving. And battle cruisers too, well in this stated. I think that's not a ba I don't know how is it in versus mode. Yeah, higher attack speed but battle cruiser I think too. So uh, I don't know if it is a bug. Hmm. Hyperion keeps firing when cocooned by Slave Elemental, yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> um, that shouldn't be it. Yeah. Orbital command centers are excluded from Borazon's emergency recall, allowing cloaked trainer units to become valuable. Yeah, that's that invulnerable banshee thing that uh, CTG <laughs> likes to use. I, I never use that. I never never actually did, did that, but uh, I know he, he likes to use it uh, for uh, some mutations. So yeah, the, the benches cannot be, they drop to 1 HP and then just kind of glowing, they are in permanent state of recall and they are just uh, invulnerable, uh, <coughs> unless they are decloaked by, uh, okay, and also Warazun provides uh, uh, strike from the, the shadows so they don't lose energy, so they always have energy to be cloaked, so if they are not decloaked by the queens or something, root queens or something, they are always invulnerable. Okay. <coughs> so if you don't have any normal CCs with all orbitals, then it's uh, it's it's in effect. Okay, but it's definitely a bug. Rainer battle cruisers deal less damage than stated on the weapon to do the random delays in the weapon. Okay, the same as the yeah, that should be fixed. <laughs> I didn't notice, uh, notice that, I mean it's hard to kind of notice in the game. Medics can heal spine spore crawlers and the Hakas primal worms. Yeah. Okay, the Hakas worms are, uh, yeah, they are structural, so although they cost supplies more than also, but uh, medics shouldn't be able to heal these things. Hyperion attacks units in polarity, even though it cannot, uh, yeah, Hyperion also, that's, um, that's a bad thing. Hyperion keeps firing when debuffed with moment of silence. Yeah, also, it shouldn't be a thing, but it's a good bug though. Hyperion keeps firing when feared. Hyperion keeps firing when pulled by fatal attraction. Yeah, Hyperion always fires, that's... <laughs> so Hyperion's good, so... Yeah, but that also... That's def that, that, those are definitely bugs. Okay, statement. Let's see, bug base, so I'm at half only. Okay. Uh, healing zones do not heal units during a delay if they have a natural regeneration that occurs after that delay. Like Stuka's Apocalypse, what? It occurs after, after what? Ah, so... If units are uh, like, for example, Stuka of Zapo or it's like, uh, you, hmm, I didn't even know about Stuka of Zapo but it's like, uh, so it would it mean that, uh, that carrying as mutalisks, uh, they kind of have rapid uh, regen natural regeneration after the, uh, outside of combat, but it has to like, uh, f I think five seconds, past five seconds until they, uh, um, since the last time it took damage that uh, regeneration actually kicks in but during those that time they wouldn't actually be healed by a healing zone okay i didn't kind of notice didn't know about that but maybe it's a if it's a thing it definitely shouldn't be a thing so it's a bug that should be fixed yeah uh, if i understand understood this correctly 
Okay, um, check something there. Okay, so um, mecha bailings are immune to the lava surge on the Vermilion problem and the energy efficient barrier is researched. Yeah, I showed this in my yesterday's video, it's kind of cool thing. They just lose all the energy and the, the health drops to a few HP and then, the, but they don't die. Can check my yesterday's video, Targaryen Banelings. Okay, Mecha Hydralisk is juiced, uh, payload is unaffected by attack upgrades. Ah, that anti-air thing, that those rockets. Okay, yeah, that, that should, it should be affected. But it's actually not juice, but I mean, the, it's ju juice just... Uh, juice just... Uh, it has the speed of that thing, but... Aha, uh -huh, if you... So if they fire faster... Hmm. Hmm. So if they fire faster, then they do less damage. Hmm. Strange. Mecha lurkers that are immobilized stasis while using Tunnel of Terror are permanently stasis. It happens to me once. I didn't, I didn't actually notice. It was when I was fighting hybrid on Parchment Pass. And probably they were stasis. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, I didn't know why they stayed three, three three of them and they were permanently stuck in that state and they were unusable from that on. I didn't know why, but this was uh, probably about probably hybrid uh, stasis of them, yeah. Okay. <coughs> Mecha Ultralisk, Mecha Mooch module can drain life from friendly mechanical objectives. Okay, I don't know if that's actually a bug. That might not be a bug. I mean, I know that uh, that's why, I mean, it's it's pointless if you're fighting Zerg to even uh, research that, but it's a uh, reason I actually take care not to research that because then Gary is only target and they can. If there's a lot of action, if they t take a lot of damage, if you have uh, and, and if you have a lot of ultralis pushing into heavily defended enemy bases, then actually can even drain super duper 2000 HP super duper Gary and kill kill it because uh, they drain a lot of life. Uh, out of uh, Gary, so yeah. Um, but I don't know if that's a bug. Hmm, maybe it's uh, meant to be that way. Make a Zerglings attack uh, with. Uh, okay, it shouldn't be. In my opinion, it shouldn't be. Uh, they shouldn't um, uh, drain life from allies because it's not fair. I mean, it's not allies' fault. Then you just do damage to allies' units. But maybe it could should be a thing that they can uh, suck life out of Gary, uh, or maybe other units that they're paired with. So, I mean, they sh maybe it should be done that they are kind of uh, prioritize enemy units if there are any enemy units nearby. But if they are not, they then they uh, take them uh, uh, suck life from uh, uh, friendly units, but not all friendly, but. Uh, own units, I mean, statements own units, not allied units, because, uh, I mean, I would be really pissed if I uh, have some units and statement ally, like if I'm, like, I don't know, Prides of August Grad, especially, this can units that uh, cannot uh, have out on the hill, and then, uh, like, uh, actually, allies ultra is kill my units or even damage them, I mean, I wouldn't be happy about that, so, so, yeah. But I actually think that they cannot do that, they cannot actually do. I didn't. I, I never actually observed uh, my ultra risk uh, sucking life of uh, allied units or uh, or uh, my units being sucked by the allies ultra risk. So I'm not sure about that, but I think that's all. That's actually even another thing. Okay, uh, make a zerglings attack with synthetic uh, adrenal pumps upgraded. Do not consume energy per. Do not consume energy per attack. Okay, if they not do not consume energy, then they uh, do not attack faster. But if they do not consume energy, I mean, it's good for one thing, because if they consume energy, that would be even more lag. Because you're every Zergling that's at Zergling attack very fast, 
and with every attack its energy level changes and if they attack in purple zone then the then energy uh, level drops and then purple zone recharges them and there are a lot of zerglings because you can have it's two zerglings per supply so you can have like 300 of them on the map or so or more so uh, so that's uh, that's a terrible zerglings are terribly laggy terribly laggy royal baron p3 stacks uh, can be given to spine and spore crawlers um, uh, I don't know if it's meant to be that way, but uh, there are structures. So um, I don't know if this is a bug. I, I don't. It's if it's a bug, it's actually a good bug. But honestly, I would like to this to remain. Point defense drones do not shoot down super garries at. Attacks. Okay, uh, if they don't, they should because the super gear actually kind of missile attacks. It's not beam attack, it's not bullet. So, uh, yeah, so it's uh, they should should uh, shut down super gear, but of course, not the Igorbs. Uh, mutators make a bandings are immune to going nuclear. Oh, yeah, uh, so uh, I will test that. But it's definitely a good bug, but it's a, it's a bug. I didn't know that, I mean, if the bug remains, next time we, we will be having going nuclear, I'll definitely go links. <laughs> that's, that's, uh, definitely. But, uh, usually I go Ultralisk, because Ultralisk are kind of tanky and they're mobile and, uh, no. Satellites will only respond once once before being destroyed with imminent domain active uh, thing yeah, satellites maybe not okay remember imagine if Amon would uh, capture them and have their own stat zone it's gonna be funky I don't know what's what to do with that thing if that's even a bug but I mean they shouldn't be destroyed surely be not touched or captured so it is kind of bug To cover cloaked infested banshees do not benefit from warriors on strike from the shadows passive. Okay, that's also that definitely should be fixed. Um, infest structure spawns double the brunlings when used on allies. Now there's some mega worms. I didn't even notice that. Okay, have to try this. Infested diamondbacks are not affected by mech attack speed mass. Yeah, that's also already mentioned uh, beam attack because they are beam attackers. So. Infested Diamondbacks do not get Warazons Strike from the Shadows passive they are clogged, cloaked. Okay, yeah. Uh, should be a thing. It's not so it's definitely bug. It should be fixed. Infested Diamondbacks ignore armor. Okay, that's that's a thing good bug, but yeah, it's bug. Infested Factories and Starports do not get Chrono Field and can be Chrono Boosted and are not affected by Chrono Wave. Okay, yeah, the that's sh that's definitely a bad bug. It also should be fixed. Plug plugged munitions upgrade increased. <coughs> <coughs> uh, the plugged munitions upgrade increases infested bunker life regeneration rates. By the way, I don't know if uh, the plugged munitions upgrade increases infested bunker life regeneration rate. Plugged munitions. Wait, which is plugged munitions? Oh, so so additional increases. Okay, I didn't know the plugged munitions is the yeah. These names of the upgrade. This is the tank upgrade, right? I didn't know that. That its effects. Okay, I have to check this. Uh, units using Chrono Boost on the infested colonies compound does not increase spawn rate. Also, using that those on bunkers like uh, this and this, like using Chrono on bunkers. I don't know when you are Lord of the Horde, uh, if they should. Uh, I mean, in normal bunkers, they should uh, spawn more uh, because they are kind of factories. Then yeah, should spawn more infested. Maybe, maybe that's a bug too. But it would be awesome, like if the bunkers. You remember, they are Lord of the Horde, and you have a. You have a unit spawn every ten seconds, and then Chrono kicks in, and then then you would have a 
and first expand every two seconds that would be like that would that would delete the map that would uh, delete aimon of the maps that that would be an awesome thing okay uh yeah nah, that's that would be awesome Okay, infested compound and infested bunkers do not spawn infest infested while in control of Aemon Tremin and Domain and that's a kinda good bug, but okay, I mean uh it could it should be that uh, if uh, even a domain captures the bunker that the they they spawn units for Aemon that Aemon should be buffed this way. Okay, yep. <coughs> so on base irradiated units inside the transport should be irradiated yeah uh, the transport damage is outside the transport okay yeah definitely not not a good thing that should shouldn't happen regenerative bio still upgrade overrides healing f for statements hugs field overrides so you don't get healed If you have that upgrade, hmm. So many things I didn't even notice. I didn't know. Okay, I don't know. So if you are a like statement, you spawn, you don't get that upgrade. <laughs> okay, SCV's auto construction AI is unpredictable. Yeah, that's also a thing. You click if you. <coughs> you click on multiple time or, do, or don't even click on uh, so that, that, that that's annoying that that's definitely annoying. so on. click uh, to uh, some on structure multiple times then they kind of halt and they don't go then or don't all go uh, to to uh, construct that structure you you uh, you uh, clicked on and also when they complete like uh, 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 gas sometimes they don't all start harvesting it so like i set three guys to build a gas and then only one harvest and other two like uh, ju after that just uh, stand by it and uh, that's kind of that's kind of pretty annoying yeah that's that, that unpredictable ai that, that definitely should be fixed one of the more annoying s things in the, the game siege tanks and tours killed by in hercules will only transform into wreckage from once unloaded okay killed in hercules but then how can they be killed in hercules Th that should not be a thing Targeting optics upgrade does not increase cyclone's lock on range. Yeah, that that's uh yeah 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 yeah. That's uh, that's a bug that makes cyclones weak. Cyclones should be should be stronger. Yep yep yep. Because uh, I mean they are good, but you can always go mass goliaths. I mean, I liked cyclones, but. With that range, that should actually make them like good against like battle cruiser and that kind of stuff. So and more people would use cyclones if the if the range would be uh, uh, increased. That 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 definitely should be should be uh, uh, fixed. Okay. Um. Mm. Units lifted by hybrid destroyers, graviton prison, uh, can be. Loaded into Hercules by manually using the load command of Hercules. Okay, I don't know if they should probably not be able to be loaded here. Yeah. Mm, mutators pulse cannon does not uh, do full damage with evasive maneuvers, doing the to it dealing six instances of damage instead of one large damage tick. Ah, that's that's six instances. Should be dealing damage in uh, in in once, yeah. That's uh, that they blink and um, that that should that should definitely definitely not be a thing. That should be fixed. False cannon does not want to deal with barrier. Okay, also also yeah 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 yeah. The uh, barrier to trigger. Okay. Okay, then we have Tychus. Base. 50% uh, outlaw discount does not get removed if an ally Tychus leaves the game before purchasing their first outlaw. 
50% neutral discount is not get removed if an ally Taika leaves the game before purchasing the Okay. <laughs> uh, definitely a bug. <coughs> <coughs> Nikara cannot heal Archons and or Dark Archons without the Procyon Twin Heal Beam Gauntlet upgrade. Okay, a definitely bug. So Archons or Dark Archons are uh, mostly shield, but the he should be HP should be healed. Nikara does not heal Zeratul's Telberus Legion by Beam. Okay, uh, Legion should also be healed, so it's also a bug. Waiting on the custom mutator selection screen card says in game time allowing Tychus to spawn multiple outlaws as soon as Tychus spawns. Okay, that's kind of good bug. <laughs> so, yeah, so it just uh, kind of stuck. So we can stick like for like 15 20 minutes into the as mutator selection screen and then start the game and then you can have like several outlaws okay but the uh, thing is you really need several outlaws because you want to spend uh, money on gear like when you get yeah oh uh, with lone wolf uh, yeah with lone wolf that would actually be really good yeah I mostly play technical recruiter but yeah lone wolf but long wall that's definitely a good thing. <laughs> uh, you you don't have the money for all the outlaws at the start, but I mean you can save and just uh, pop out more outlaws and yeah, yeah, for long wall it's, it's pretty good. Mutators, okay. Black Dad does not kill outlaws but leaves them at one HP. Yeah, that's a thing. It's also a thing that I exploited uh, in some mutations. Uh, it should be a good bug, but it's a bug. Blaze igniting units with wildfire makes some units respawn inf infinitely We just die active. Okay, that definitely should not be a thing, because then if you infinitely uh, spawning units, that's a nightmare. You can't get rid of them. So, <coughs> what is an okay base? Void shade units on side of aim and cannot be mind controlled by dark archons. Void shade units, void shade units, uh, and units that that come from uh, rifts. Mm hmm. Mm, I don't know about that. Time stop delay is bailing death. Okay. Delay is bailing death. So it doesn't do damage or what, and it's not explained properly. Veil of Shadows shield region passive does not work on oracles. Ah, that's how definitely bugs should be fixed if it doesn't work on oracles. With uh, withering siphon, centurions with the dark oil upgrade can stun ultralisk, even the ultralisk have frenzied buff. Whereas confusion does not work on ultralisk. Uh, yeah, okay, it's a kind of bug. Uh, I don't know if confusion should work on ultralisk. I don't think so. With uh, buttering siphon, P2 void stasis on dark templars do not work on hybrids. But does with Shadow Guard. Okay, yeah, it should work on hybrids. With Withering Siphon, Void Rushers cannot be stunned with Centurion. Uh, it should, yeah, also. Because, th probably because they are map bosses. Okay, maybe it's not a bug because I think Thrashers are map. Thrashers are map. Are they map bosses? I think they are. So, uh, maybe this is not a bug. You know, but uh, the hybrids, normal hybrids, definitely should be stunned because it's stated that it also works on heroic units. Uh, mutators. Black Dead deals uh, 0.75 damage per tick instead of one, so less damage with better siphon. Okay. Mm. Interesting. But I definitely won't be go going b 
Petering Siphon Black Dead because it's units die. So uh, yeah, that's uh, not something that's really useful. Hardened Wheel will does not get removed from units uh, while time stop is active. Yeah, I noticed that in this last mutation. Uh, no, 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 the last mutation, but brutal plus five. I, uh, I, I wasn't actually sure if that's a thing, but I, I, I thought it is, and then I read it is a thing. Um, yeah, and also you cannot collect uh, parts on part and parcel. I think they forgot. To, we'll get to, to that when we we'll get maps. Okay, Iron Will does not get remo removed from units. That time stop is active. Yeah, that's uh, that's that thing. So so actually, my ally was using time stop for fighting heroes, but it shouldn't. But anyways, we had a you can check a few days ago that video, but a plus six without losing a unit because I didn't lose a single unit, single combat unit. So yeah, that's uh, that's that video from f few days ago <coughs> when we fought Nerozim team against the uh, heroes and. Uh, for the animators, and I think that's also about that the animators cannot revive the heroes. Um, with Withering Siphon, P2 Black Death does not kill Warazon's units, but leaves them at 1 HP. Yeah, that's also... Uh. It's also a thing. So they can... Uh, 1 HP, but then the shield uh, is not regenerating. Then the shield is not regenerating, so you have to, uh, like you're going, um, like uh, void raids, then you, when you, when the shield goes down, you know, it's, it's more vulnerable because you, uh, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't uh, heal the shields, nor, nor, nor normally, nor if they are cloaked while a while, while of shadows, shields just remain the same. Okay, Warazun can deal damage to units under polarity using withering siphon effects yeah 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 that's also a bug so withering siphon so it can deal damage but it cannot kill because this effects don't kill but uh it shouldn't be a thing <laughs> I okay zagara okay we have two uh, there's not much for zagara Apex Pirator zagara does not get the frenzy as stated in the prestige does not get the frenzy yeah that, that's that's a serious bonder should be should be frenzied unit <coughs> because frenzied unit then they cannot be stunned cannot be uh, feared and so uh, and I think shouldn't be even pulled well by fatal attraction no I, th uh, I think fatal attraction does not affect that uh, but uh, shouldn't be feared shouldn't be stunned yes courage does not appear on the units lost mate tabs in observer interfaces okay that's a score screen bug mutated zagara while uh, burrowed gets pulled by fatal attraction okay that's also already said it so or burrowed units shouldn't be pulled zagara's mainly barrage does double edge damage only barrage hits a structure okay i don't know <laughs> if zagara's mainly barrage should actually deal damage but i think it should because it counts towards zagara's damage so uh those bandlings are unkillable, so it should be dealing damage to Zagara, but uh, it does damage only if it's a structure. Okay, uh, Zerat, let's see, but artifact, artifacts can be trapped inside a wall of structures on certain maps. Okay, I really would like this bug to remain because I exploded a lot when I'm playing Knowledge Seeker. Uh, okay, if you don't know, you can check, uh, you can Google. Uh, there are two artifact uh, trapping and you'll find us on which maps I think it's six maps on which you can trap uh, artifacts <coughs> on their spawn points on their origin points orbital assimilators drop scrap with uh, so you, uh, if you don't know how this works they start with trapping and uh, like they have all structures around it and then you always it's always there the orbital assimilators drop scrap with a hand horner alley ally orbital assimilators <laughs> okay and it's a bug but uh, when do you lose orbital assimilators <laughs> okay sometimes you do probably avatar of essence buffs can be stacked using void arrays by click quickly loading and unloading we stacked using 
Avoid the race by quickly loading and unloading units. Okay. Hmm. It's kind of good bug. I didn't know about that. Enforcers' anti air attacks do not get blocked by point defense drones. Should they? Yeah, they are missiles. They are kind of missiles. I think they should. So it's kind of good bug. This. Hmm. Legion cooldowns uh, can be. have their warpings delayed by stasis abilities. Okay, so. Uh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's that thing that uh, that you can the, the, if you have a you have a hybrid destroyer and then you start spawning the the legion and then it's it they gets caught in the stasis and it's called in the warp pri that that thing called uh, that that uh, yeah void prison void stasis and uh, then it's delayed and it's really annoying because when you spawn a legion you you want to have it right right now to fight the wave but then get the lead and then yeah, yeah that that's one of the also one of the most annoying things in the game that should be really f prioritized to f to fix okay um um okay so legion Okay, now losing a construct bay with more than eight supply of units in a void array will cause the void array's cargo bay to grow extremely large. <laughs> okay, to notice that, I did notice that void arrays actually kind of. Uh, uh, this is not uh, this is not uh, stated here, but it should be that void array is uh, when you make a new void array, you cannot unload. Uh, actually, in some cases, it's not, not doesn't even have to be new void array. I think so. Uh, yeah, uh, because when units are in the system, they should be. If you make a new void array, you should be able to unload uh, uh, unload from it uh, immediately. But it sh it kind of shows empty, and that's not good. That's I I've had troubles with that multiple times. It's not stated here. Serdat and Dark Al Archon uh, Maelstrom affects uh, structures. Oh yeah, really <laughs> interesting. Uh, but it is a bug there. It shouldn't be affecting structures. How does it affect structures so they don't produce or uh, cannons cannot fire? Hmm. I didn't even notice that. I mean, I don't use Serdat a lot. Hello, the I don't use sort of a lot, mostly because the, uh, the captured unit costs supply. Herald of the Void, the uh, Zeratul Tornadoes do not damage units in time stop. Okay, that's definitely a bug. Should be fixed. Void Templars gain Void Fury even in I if Zeratul is not at level 3. Wait, Void Templars gain Void Fury even Zeratul? As long as this, what? Wait, what? What fury? I mean, I mean, how can Zeratul not be at level three? I mean, if second artifact is picked up, then Zeratul is at level two. So. I don't understand this. I mean, how could who Zeratul be at level? Terry. Okay. So no. So they gain f fury. I mean, they, 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 this sentence construct is kind of confusing. So they, when they say when time has gained void fury when uh, second artifact is, but but what, what void fury is the thing that they do, do doubling damage. It should be at the second artifact. They get uh, that revival thing. That's not very fury. What is it called? Uh, retreat to the void. The uh, retreat to the void. I believe that's at the, 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 the third fragment. But uh, void fury. No, this uh, this uh, this is shouldn't. This is a nonsense sentence. I don't know. There are two avatars. Do not uh, gain any attack or armor when collecting more than three artifacts with the knowledge seeker prestige. Yeah, they, they, they should they should get the, they should get yeah that's that's the thing they didn't get attack upgrade and armor. 
I don't think they get it at all. Or past third fragment. I don't think they get uh, attacking armor buffs at all. Uh, Zeratul must pass through a dark pile on cloaking field to gain Warazun's will of Sha. I mean, okay, Avatar is initially available at third fragment. Let's go back to this, but. Uh, So yeah, they initially should like fix damage, but they don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. It's kind of my, my. Okay, Zeratul must pass through dark pile and cloaking field to gain waters in the Vale of Shadows passive. Mm. So that's a thing that the shield regeneration doesn't kick in until. So when it passes through, then it gains it permanently, or when just when. Uh, it's under the field. Hmm. I'm not sure. Avatar of Essence makes units spawn from aggressive deployment. Why there is three enemy drop biomass in essence when devolved? Okay, uh, that, uh, that also shouldn't be a thing here yeah, because the those things shouldn't give any any essence or biomass. But if it's that they do, it's a kind of good bug. Okay, so now we have missions. Chain of Ascension. All spawned uh, bonus objectives are auto completed at the end of the mission. Just a second. Okay. Um, all spawned bonus objectives are auto completed at the end of the mission. Yeah. Uh, not at the end of the mission. All spawned. Uh -huh. So uh, it's this is I think not uh, completely correct because uh, it means that if um, the second bonus is still active, but then again, if you finish the mission before you even kill the f if the first bonus is, but it's hard to to kill the mission. Yeah, when the first bonus is still active, but uh, actually. Uh, so it I wanted to say that uh, uh, that if the second bonus is still on the map, if, the, if it uh, didn't yet despawn, if it didn't time out before you complete the mission, then it then you get the bonus. But this is actually not correct. Uh, uh, the correct thing is that you get the bonus uh, that you uh, get the the bonus. Um, if you kill the last hybrids before the bonus despawns, even if you don't finish the mission, even if the bonus then after you like kill, because it happens to me that uh, we kill, kill the last hybrid, but it took a long time, so Orana was pushed uh, far back. In the meantime, bonus was still active uh, when we killed the hybrids, but then it despawns, we were unable to kill it before the end of the, uh, before it despawned or before we finished the mission and the bonus despawned. So, bo so it was uh, clearly visible uh, because we were s literally split seconds uh, late to start attacking it to delay its uh, despawning and it was animations clearly saw how uh, Elemental went back into the ground but in the end we actually get the bonus so if you kill the the, uh, the correct would be if you kill the uh, last hybrids be, uh, well bonus is still on the map you will get it uh, anyways even if it despawns uh, chain of ascension aemon does not attack solarite cocoons that elemental <coughs> Aemon does not uh, attack solarite cocoons that elemental casts even if it, uh, its own units is trapped and uh, slain and, uh, and the second is slain elemental can trap Aemon's unit in solar cocoons and with uh, with uh, and it even it can trap even itself that's kind of thing with the withery siphon then it traps itself and then it d does damage to itself slowly and kills itself so yeah this is kind of <laughs> interesting bug 
Yeah, Dead of Night. Heavy weapon specialist. Uh, Swan laser drill does not slow down the stank. Okay, so the stank is ultra, so it's frenzied. Let's slow down other ultra risks. I honestly don't know. Kind of forgot. So I think this is not a bug actually. Hmm. Because if it's uh, frenzied, that should should no frenzy units should be slowed. Um, Dead of Night Hunter Links can stun units with uh, uh, frenzied buff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ultralis, uh, ultralis can be uh, brutalis can be stunned. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, that should not be a thing. Uh, hunter Links are really annoying. Uh, hunter Links are really annoying. Dead of Night Volatile Infested spawned from the War of Age do not burn up during the days. Like uh, really? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They they can be some volatile infested. Uh, the map that that that's that's also a thing. So yeah, that's that shouldn't be a thing. Uh, lock and load. Warzone's time stop cause causes the AI to wake up. Yeah, yeah. On lock and load, if you use time stop, uh, then the wake up. I mean, then the um, AI starts sending more units to. Uh, to locks and more more random units like uh, one unit and the thing also uh, attack wave spawns are increased so yeah that's uh, some weird interaction uh, with time stop on that map so if you're Borazun try not to use <laughs> time stop until very end okay until the you have to actually have to capture the, uh, the lock the last lock I don't know if you can actually ca even capture the lock during test I think you can the lock and load, uh, the Gazelle Naga construct can hit units in transport. So, okay, I didn't know that. Well, that's definitely a bug then. Minor evacuation. Abatrus Vipers can use abduction of ships outside the vi vision range through the fog of war. Yeah, that's, uh, that's the bug that uh, I exploited uh, multiple times. So, you just uh, uh, abduct the ships either in the base and then you defend all of them. Or, you, or the best thing is uh, you abduct them on the edges of the map where there is no. Uh, Pa n no uh, ground patterning, so ground units cannot attack them. So you then you just have to defend them from the clock banshees and the uh, flying hybrids, hybrid nemesis. So it's kind of <laughs> really cool stuff, but it's definitely a bug. Minor evacuation always plays voice lines that uh, the enemy comp is Terran. Yeah, and that's also uh, on. Um, Some other maps to uh, think on Dead of Night, then also uh, on um, not Dead of Night, Sight of Emon also uh, sometimes uh, misses the enemy composition. Uh, Dead of Night, maybe uh, I don't know, but on Minor Rivak, yes, of course. Terran enemies, Terran enemies, Terran enemies. Okay, minor evacuation. Bitebringer can be body blocked, preventing him from exiting the cave and using abilities. Okay, I don't know if this is even a bug or just some like, exploit that you can use. Mm, um, and uh, also eradicators. Okay. Um, wait. Uh, evacuation ship models sometimes do not disappear after launch. Yeah, that's a kind of bug. I don't know if you notice this. Minor evacuation. If a militarized transport is spawned by the end of the ship launch and doesn't reach it, the transport moves to a player's base and releases reapers there. Yeah, that, that also can be annoying. There's infested reapers and they really kill structures very fast. Uh, minor evacuation. Playing it on retry brutal plus will give infested army composition instead of whatever is listed. Uh, yeah, then you have, uh, and also when you have heroes of the the store. Okay, I think uh, we will get it. Get this to um, to when we get to the mutators. Yeah. Okay. Uh, remind reminds players to complete optional. <laughs> Even if they are already complete, yeah, uh, Bloodbringer ready, especially for Bloodbringer. <laughs> Bloodbringer is dead, and uh, still, uh, Sergeant Hammer reminds us that we have to kill the Bloodbringer, okay? Uh, no, Sergeant Hammer, the. Sergeant Hammer is on Hammerland and Void Rushing. What's, what's the name of the. Okay, never mind. 
forgot. Um, the eradicators can be killed before the, the, the Debra Green. Yeah, Debra Green. Yeah, the guild uh, guild master Debra Green. Okay, uh, minor evacuation. The eradicators can be killed before they activate. Yeah, that's also a thing. Uh, retrying the mission on Brutal Plus difficulty displays infested as the attack wave composition. Yep. Um, sometimes, yeah, that's kind of bamboozles you. When eradicators time out, they can be body blocked from entering the facility and killed, allowing bonus completion after time. Yeah, that's also what the Haka Burger actually discovered, and I also exploited it f f several times. So you. Uh, body blocked by st by things that cannot be pulled and that's at structures so uh, drop a bunker with mengsk and with some units they can also be pulled like siege tanks uh and pop out a worm or snide uh, the mega network and uh or drop a flying terran structure and then uh, uh they cannot get in and then uh, if timer is out that they are inactive so you can easily kill them but uh, when you kill one the other one reactivates so it's uh, the best to uh exploiting this bug is to uh, leave one at low HP so you can kill it fast after you kill the other one and I'm um okay another minor, a lot of a lot of minor vacation bugs with multiple ships active infested someone's her, her head towards wrong ship yeah the I, I, I actually uh, a few days ago and it was like uh, ally started one ship and I realized he can defend and I started one uh, at the opposite side and then all the infested from the, the allies ship uh, went through through our base to my shit that was annoying like they were attacking our base that's but that's uh, that's a really annoying thing and it shouldn't be uh most the opportunity is killing the bonus objective before uh, a statement finishes his line about it makes it un un unable to be done hmm that's uh, i didn't know about that uh so if you kill it first what how can you kill it so fast like uh, with with what with um, maybe uh, ascendance yeah, you, uh, hmm. because I don't know any other way to kill it that fast maybe nuclear annihilation can kill it I don't know um, because as soon as you get to that area Statman will start talking about it uh, air components of attack. Uh, uh, I believe in experience. Air components of attack waves get teleported to the gather points once the entire attack wave is formed. Yeah, that 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 thing. I already talked about it. That trigger thing. That's that that shouldn't be a thing. That's so annoying. And uh, the air wave, then the wave is split. Like uh, if you get sky terran uh, yeah. or combined combined uh, enemy waves are especially bad because uh, the the cyclones and uh, those stuff remain there and the uh, battle cruisers and uh, liberators are teleported and then yeah uh, it's it's not good air air comp oh, okay that's it oblivion express damage is lost when attacking trains with the diffusion mutator active uh, damage is uh, lost when attacking trains with diffusion mutator active Wait, 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 wait. Ah, so it doesn't do any damage. Hmm, it's really... Uh, 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 no, so you cannot... What, you cannot kill trains with... Uh, or it just deals a portion of damage to trains and the other damage that should be splashed. It isn't splashed. I don't understand this completely. Okay, just die sometimes fails to occur on trains. Uh, I actually, it's not. I think it's not sometimes, but every second train is revived only on one HP. That's that's a thing. Every second train is uh, revived with one one HP, and that's also uh, on a part and parcel. I think the first train will be a uh, uh, full, and the second and one HP or, or vice versa. I don't know. Uh, Oblivion experience trains do not get the plug debuff normally. However, if a train is uh, present on the map and black that is activated through Chaos Studios, trains carriage will get the plug debuff. Okay. I don't know what to think about that. I mean, it should be a bug. Uh, yeah. 
Bleeding Express train carriage is take 50% damage only when the fusion is active. Wait, now damage is lost. Now it says 50% damage only when the fusion is active. What? Mm, I don't know about this. Bleeding Express train carriage is that our stasis by whether yeah, that 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 uh, bug that uh, when you if you uh damage the carriage that is not the first or the last uh if you cast uh uh dark templar but only the no the dark templar actually i think they cannot only the shadow guard can do that or i don't remember i think the only shadow guard only shadow gun can do that and train when it's about to leave and it auto destructs and you you don't need, you don't need to kill it <laughs> Rifts to core hull, void shards attack uh, can be reflected by Zeratul's uh, uh, Zelnaga shield guards. Okay, I mean, this is, I, I don't think this is a bug. I don't think this is a bug. So that void shard attack, that those uh, fiery balls that stun and that does do, do some damage. I mean, they technically are missiles. So uh, I don't know how if they're reflected, if they, they, they stun the void shard itself. I don't know uh, what. But I think this is okay. So I don't think it's even a bug. Okay. Uh, Sight of aim on that grip crystal are treated as units and not structures. Really? Really? So are they maybe massive then? I can be kind of kill fast with Sky Furies. I don't know. But um, that grip. Uh, Sight of even dead grip crystal outside vision range do not create sprites that link to units that is stuck. Yeah, that's bad because then you may not notice that your units are actually actually gripped by crystal when you, until it's too late. Uh, <laughs> temple of the past drop attack patterns around the temple are not random as is intended. Ah, so they are fixed. Yeah, okay. Habris will sometimes fly past the player's base, past the temple, and travel towards the opposite end of the map. Yeah, that's kind of weird uh, behavior. And also, sometimes they just at, uh, ignore your units attacking them and fly to the temple and then attack the te temple. That's even worse. Um, temple can spawn and reduce HP in the temporal field. Is active really? <laughs> Okay, I don't remember ever having temp uh, temporal field or temple of the past. The Vermilion problem, Amon's units are immune to lava surges. Despite the AI respecting the surges, yeah, if they are already in the lava, and if you do, if you do have a, if you do have a void rift, they then do not those things that spawn from void rift, they do not respect. This I don't think that they respect the the. The lava so they just walk through lava and attack them and to attack you randomly so uh yeah that's uh but yeah lava should destroy but i think uh, there was a point of time where the lava actually did destroy amon's units but then the then that bug occurred i'm not sure but i think it wasn't a thing uh, always but lava should definitely destroy everything william pro lava burst from the mutator are treated the same as the lava spouts in the mission, triggering Donny Vermillion's voice line. Okay, I mean, <laughs> that's that's probably uh, kind of annoying stuff. Oh, it's launch Leviathan ground attacks effects doesn't disappear once Leviathan is killed. Really? Hmm, <laughs> that's strange. Okay, though there's a mission. So okay, now finally we get to the mutators. Aggressive deployment drops will not spawn if a player's only valid drop target is placed over unpathable terrain. Yeah. So if you place, uh, uh, so how the aggressive deployment works is they uh, they uh <coughs> oh the alarm I forgot forgot to switch stuff. Um. Deployment of, uh, so how it works is that uh, it always searches for your combat units, supply of your combat units, and if it doesn't find any combat units, 
then it searches for supply, other supply of your workers, then it will deploy upon your workers. So if you have combat uh, units, like for example, if you are, if you go the Haka, you build just one mutalisk and get it uh, uh, on a unpatable te or unpatable terrain. If there is a lot of unpatable terrain, that the unpatable terrain is not close, be close enough to aggressive deployment to spawn, then it will never spawn if you you can then just play with the Haka and pack leaders because the Haka and pack leaders don't cost supply. So um, then in that case you can just or for example Kerrigan also you can just hero solo Kerrigan um, using just Kerrigan and Omega Network and uh, you just make one mutalisk and get it over the unpatable uh, terrain and then uh, and it will never spawn. Okay. Yeah, I mean, uh, no, it's a bug. Yeah, it is a bug. It should be kind of fixed. Okay, but it's a good bug that sometimes you can exploit. Okay, using the above bug, aggressive deployment will drop a maxed out wave if it can drop a subsequent wave. Okay, and it's kind of Iman fights back, uh, fights the bug back. Angry turkeys from Turkish shot and not get uh, hit by some splash damage effects such as Super Gary Seagorbs. Yeah, this is, this is annoying. This I experienced that. Um, double edged, uh, this definitely should not be a thing. Double edged uh, heals uh, at 8 HPs instead of listed. 10 HPs, okay. So, yeah, this is a bad bug. Should be. So, double edged should actually heal more, okay. Imminent uh, 10 HP per, per second, yeah. Uh, so, that's double edged that mutated when you. Your units uh, take damage they deal, but uh, they are healed slowly over time. So this is the how they are healed. They are healed less than I should. A em eminent domain. Siege up siege tanks cannot capture structures with eminent domain. Okay. Uh, so see when siege tanks destroy something that cannot be captured. Okay, and you know that. Going nuclear, it shouldn't be a thing. Go, going nuclear still hits mineral lines and gases. Yeah, on some maps, especially on Oblivion Express, that uh, main, that the, they hit the main base of the player one of the of the left player, and they also on the hit even worse on uh, the left expansion on point uh, trashing. That's uh, that's uh, because they hit kind of behind. They hit behind, and uh, a big portion is actually of mineral and actually gas is destroyed. Okay, gift exchange can roll over charge shuttles on maps where it does nothing. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's kind of bug. That's is it's good for players, you know, because then you get no negative bug. You can overcharge shuttles. Okay, there are no shuttles <laughs> on the because this was originally this gift exchange was on a void launch. But yeah, you get overcharged shuttles on some other uh, map, and there are no shuttles, so it's nothing. <laughs> Gifts can be claimed by non non units such as blizzards, power field essence drops, and uh, and so on. Yeah, yeah, that's that's not good. This should be, should be claimed only by units. They can be claimed by by uh, blizzards and power field for aim, and essence drops and biomass for abattoir. Okay, <laughs> heroes from the storm. Uh, the Haka spawning mini the Hakas can be prevented by points defense drones. Oh, so really? Oh, yeah, this definitely shouldn't be. That's a good bug. It shouldn't be a shouldn't be a thing. Heroes from the storm does not spawn heroes on minor evacuation and site of a money. Yeah, and on minor evacuation, if you have heroes mutator, then actually all attack waves will be messed up. They won't be uh, what is stated. They won't be normal units, but will be. Uh, attack waves will actually be infested thing like infested herc, primarily infested herc and other infested stuff. So uh, yeah, that's uh, that's also a thing. Mag mines from magnificent multiplies the damage for every unit near center of its target when hitting clumped up units. Okay, that's uh, also uh, like from Han and Horner. Uh, mine sweeper mines are killed at the start of the game to fit uh, within safety zone constraints. Ah, so if they are, ca they would kind of be uh, uh, in there. 
discuss the problem when early incubation avoid reanimation walking infested is aha so they they are kind of killed off from the safety zones but they then then they spawn uh, infested and uh, also uh, so at the start of the game you have you al you already have a uh, uh, like brutalness you cannot fight because you have nothing to fight them <laughs> With and we and also they can trigger then if they they are killed they can trigger void reanimators to start coming and walking infested causes spawn okay yeah they they should be removed instead of killed off yeah that that's that that's it I never actually had this combination of uh, I don't think it it were it was ever a mutation and uh, in brutal plus I never get this combination I didn't even know about that thing missile command missiles can be reclaimed and mind control I never tried that. <laughs> Well, definitely. I don't know if that's actually a bug. Okay, but I mean... Moment of silence, pauses, Protoss Warpings, where, where the debuff uh, lasts. Okay, yeah, this shouldn't, shouldn't do that. Mutually assured destruction overrides moment of silence on hybrid death. Ah, so mutually, so hybrid just, they just explode, but they don't trigger moment of silence, and they should be triggered both. Okay, I mean, if you can think if, if they trigger a nuke, I mean, everything, that, but it actually doesn't kill anything, uh, super duper, you can never die one nuke. So, uh, so if you get these two and you play Statman, it can actually be good. I mean, Statman or uh, the Haka Spec Leader says, okay, the Haka Spec can they actually be silenced? Because they are my bosses, I think they might even not be silenced. I'm not sure about that. Propagators can be path blocked by workers. Okay, I don't think no, I don't think it's a kind of bug. This is more like exploit. You put workers on a on a hold position and then. Uh, Propagators do not attack them because they won't attack what's attacking them from from the behind the workers and then uh, you can use that to kill them. Like with Kerrigan for example, <laughs> when you don't have Kerrigan out yet and Propagator is, is coming, you don't have nothing to fight it so you, you kind of put, uh, block it with the structure and then uh, you, one or two workers and you put spine crawlers behind and that's uh, uh, especially like uh, the last new death mutation when we have uh, fast props like when rifts to Korhal then my ally did that. I don't have the nerve to do that but uh, you can do that. Shader setting is set uh, to medium and below will cause the darkness mutator to not work correctly. It will terrain. <laughs> yeah, that's... Uh, I'm heavily exploiting this and also with afraid of the dark. So... Uh, I would actually like this bug to remain but it's a bug. Okay, void reanimators can target uh, units on unpatable terrain uh, that they can reach, making them get stuck. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's also thing, one good thing. Sometimes they get stuck, so you don't have to wor worry about them. More when transmutation, uh, uh, transmutating an air unit, sometimes the unit will transmute to ground unit in unpassable terrain and be stuck. Yeah, that that's also happens. With transmutation active, some units transform into tier 1 units due to not having a tier associated with them, a mothership and stank, I don't know about mothership, but the stank definitely, so have uh, transmutation on um, void, on dead of night, all special effects that would actually transmute it into tier 2 units, like maybe Hellbat or something, so even stank, so you just let there let stank to attack something and it will transmute into something smaller and that's actually really good. But uh, it, it is a bug, though. <laughs> Quality of life. Okay, let's see what we have here. I think this is much important. Ammo's units killed by non-player instances like treasure attacks will not drop biomass. Okay, that's a bug. It should be fixed. Uh, borrowed swarm host and non-borrowed swarm host are treated as different units when control clicked. Um, 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 um. Yeah, I think this is not good. I think this should be uh, treated the same, but uh, given both option to borrow or unborrow, yeah, that's uh, that, that that that's but that should be fixed. Swarm Queen tr rapid transfusion auto cast uh, does not cast on buildings despite being valid targets. Mm, yeah, this also bug that should be fixed. 
Alarak becomes fully controllable three, uh, four, three to four seconds slower than other hit. Yeah, that, that also that's also a thing because it's that it has that uh, animation. It's kind of kind of getting that uh, that thing over it, its its head and uh, it's, it's kind of being phased onto the battlefield. Sunday and that animation slows it. Okay. That shouldn't be. It sh she should be out um, exactly four minutes, like every every other uh, hero, except the ones that are, of course, faster, like the Hawk attackers. Havox uh, cannot correctly move command follow. Okay, cannot correctly move command follow. Ali, wait. Uh huh. Move command follow. Ali, you need to attack the clock. Okay. Orbital strikes remaining charges can be accidentally cancelled by clicking in fog of war. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's also a thing that happened to me a zillion times. Like, this is annoying. This is really annoying, so you lose them. And also a thing with the. Okay, the no, Arakatanis doesn't have that to uh, get to that. Primal and Creeper hosts have too high target priority. Okay, I don't know about target priorities. I, would, I wouldn't count that, that as bugs I wouldn't count that as those things as bugs so um, I don't know about that and Hornish SCV is constructing uh, assault galleons cannot be issued commands to stop construction yeah that's I think this also already stated but uh, yeah that's uh, also a pretty annoying thing <laughs> if you get under attack, you want to cancel, and you can uh, you know, lose both things, the CCV and the Galleon. Uh, uh, Karak, Architect of War, P1 structures will start to cause lag if they are attacked for a long period of time. Really? I didn't know that. Energizers... Uh, I don't think it's about lag. It's Math, math. So if a lot of them are attacked, that's normal. Thing when lag is ma math is laggy. So energizer reclamation does not break hand horners or even analyze weakness on the targeted unit. So so analyze weakness still goes uh, on on the unit even if unit is not friendly. I mean, okay, that's kind of small thing. Shield batteries won't automatically recharge structures that can't that can't attack. Uh, yeah, that's also a thing in versus mode. Uh, I think that uh, they only uh, heal monoliths and uh, uh, photon cannons, but not I think each other or the other structures automatically. Yeah, okay, they should do that. I mean, I think this is a bug that should be fixed. Solar lands remaining charges can uh, can be as accidentally cancelled by clicking in fog of war. Yeah, that's the same thing as the times orbitals things. Okay, with. Uh, Karax is, isn't a uh, thing with orbital strikes with because it's not uh, with Artanis, it's fixed. Like fixed energy goes for five strikes, and with Karax, is, this is not, uh, I mean, when energy you have, you can always cast them so it doesn't cancel anything. But Solar Lens, yeah, it is on, on cooldown, so uh, yeah, it's bad. It happened to me with Karax also a lot of things, a lot of uh, times. Uh, troopers may not drop you. Uh, Using drop pods, if there are structure, there's a structure at a waypoint, uh, yeah, he, or if you uh, cast on a pa unpathable terrain, I don't know actually, exactly if this is a bug, but okay, if it's a structure, they should actually drop uh, beside. But the uh, thing is that uh, bigger bug for me is that when the uh, if you have queued units to drop, I mean uh, troopers, uh, then if, I and in the meantime the, that, uh, I don't know the name of the upgrade exactly, but that thing that uh, allows you to drop, actually d start dropping uh, troopers, uh, I mean initially they are just produced out of the, the enlistment center of the CCs and uh, 
they walk out they cannot be dropped but when you have that upgrade they still uh, if you had uh, uh, queued units they won't automatically start dropping but they will still just get out of the cc's so you have to cancel all the queue and queue them again so that's that that, that can be annoying you know <coughs> um, that's actually pretty annoying when you play mengsk especially in the hectic situations Elaborers converting into troopers at command center do not dro drop in uh, the resources they are carrying. Uh, yeah, but how would they drop uh, the resources? Okay, so th there should be animation like tiny drops of resources on the field. Okay, maybe wizard could get, but that sh could uh, that should be uh, the whole whole lo whole other whole the whole thing. So I mean the same thing if you are carrying minerals and then uh, then uh, set uh, your workers on a gas and then they will those minerals will not be dropped you know so uh, yeah that's uh, that's a thing that's how in versus this player sometimes steal minerals and ga gas using that exploit okay if they block uh, if they block. Uh, if they block uh, opponents, if they uh, steal opponents' gas. Uh, laborers, okay, that was it. Um, automated refineries mine at slower rate compared to at orbital asymmetries. I didn't even notice that, so uh, for no one, no one needs a lot of gas, so it definitely should be uh, fixed, and they are also more expensive. I mean, the refineries are cost 100. Uh, hundred uh, minerals uh, okay zero tools are free uh, but uh, uh, Borazons cost 75 so yeah and they also take a lot of time to build borrowed uh, I mean Novas uh, automatic refineries Bo borrowed mech lurkers are treated as different units when control clicked yeah this is also a problem this is also a problem instead of uh, like with Abatur's uh, things, Abatur's swarm host. Uh, Apocalypse does not autocast cluster rockets when, yeah, 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 also this also thing like, uh, especially if uh, Apocalypse has nothing else to attack on the ground, then uh, it does not autocast cluster rockets. Uh, when commanded to, to attack a specific target, but I say more when has nothing else on the ground to attack, then they, they, it doesn't attack. Uh, when actually uh, Apocalypse attacks units on the ground, then it auto has cluster rockets, but it, when it has nothing t more to attack on the ground, then the, the rockets kind of not auto cast, and it's kind of annoying. Yeah, Stukov cannot root buildings in the fog of war. Yeah, it is also an annoying thing, like. Uh, should be fixed, shouldn't be a thing. Swan. Swan's drill does uh, damage at uh, 0.1 seconds intervals but is affected by armor. Okay. I don't know. I understand. So, actually, does less damage than it should, or. Uh, yeah, yeah, probably. Probably does less damage than it should, but it still does a lot of damage, though. No. Okay, uh, Dark Templar, Shadow Fury gets denied casting on high. Uh, casting on high ground, okay, I think it's a bug too. Disruption wave is auto-casted on targets in stasis, so this shouldn't be a, a thing, yeah. Because they are already disabled. Disruptor that animation when it dies. Uh, disruptor that? No, the time stop is very. Ah, yeah, sometimes even the remnants stay like a visual thingy, visual bug. Scourge, scourge nests cannot see rally points until construction is complete for Zagara. Okay. And this. Yeah, yeah, should, should be fixed. Uh, queens can transfuse targets that are already at full HP. Really? <laughs> okay. That grip crystals inside the weapon can destroy Zeratul's Legion cooldowns before they warp in. Uh, yeah, the same thing. The status, stasis abilities that affect the legions. Yeah. 
it's annoying, that should definitely be fixed. Hybrids on part and parcel can teleport onto unpatable terrain, preventing them from being attacked by melee units. Yeah, the, the mission objective hybrids, I mean, that's that's really annoying, they teleport over that, the, especially that, uh, yeah, the first and the third, the third hybrid can, doesn't have anything like that to, to teleport onto but uh, the first and the second one definitely have that that those boxes they spawn from like third hybrid boxes uh, behind so cannot get back there but the first and the second one uh, uh, teleport over that structure on top of that structure they are uh, uh, spawned from so yeah that's uh, uh, this is uh, hard to fight them that's uh, that's really I mean it's technically yeah, it is impossible terrain though, yeah. Boom bot codes cannot be info. Yeah, yeah, that's that's one of the reasons why I hate those things. Because I always click, I never use that uh, keyboard because I'm always afraid that I will uh, uh, type too fast or something. So I always click, click uh, on those codes. And I hate, I hate boom bots. That's my most hated mutator. Okay, so that's, oh, aesthetics. Okay, I don't wanna... Uh, I don't wanna go into ex aesthetics. Uh, it's this video is already way too long. Just let me see if they they put those uh, the Haka thing is uh, the boring one, the boring one, primal contender, the naughty list. Uh, uh, I for a stretch when they were by okay no 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 okay that's it that's it guys okay that's it guys uh please comment what you think about that and if you have some other bugs you may uh, you may comment and i will then send them to the El master and other guys who are who are compiling this list that's it okay guys uh thanks for watching see you next time